Norman says, hello, I just hey, found Norman. your show on YouTube. It's great. Cool. That's awesome. Thanks. Thanks, Norman. Hope one day you can join us live in the chat room. Uh, Norman says, I am following a Joomla 1.5 tutorial to create, create a web page. I did the following. Created a new section called Test Section. Created a new category called Test Category. Created a new article called Test Article. And then told this article to be in the above section and category. Okay. I know what he's talking about. It sounds like what we were doing last week. Yeah. Um, when I go to the page, it is not there. No section, no category, uh. no article. I have the same problem. The only way <laughs> I, I can see the article is to tell it to be on the front page. Hmm. Do I have to do something with modules to make this appear? Okay. Thank you, from Norm. I think what Norm is describing is different than what you had happen yeah. this week. Yeah. Carrie was working away on her blog this week, and I was happy to see that you actually posted a blog entry, and I actually smiled, and, and it was... Yeah. She said she couldn't write, but you go read it and tell me if she can write. CarrieWeb.com, uh, click on Carrie's blog. But what happened to you was that you had written the article, and then you went to save it, and then something went weird, and, yeah, and just know. the file disappeared. Yeah. So I was thinking that, were you on wireless at the time, or? No, I think I probably didn't follow the directions exactly. Oh, okay. But then I watched the meet <laughs> oh, okay. and got it figured out. And you got it figured out, yes. okay, and then you got your post done. Yes. What's happening here to Norm is that he's gone through the steps that we showed last week, but then he goes to his website and there's no Carrie's blog button, right? There's no Norm's blog button on the menu, so he's not actually finding his blogger articles. Oh, because yeah, unless what, it's on the front page. Right, so what we need to understand, Norm, is when, when Carrie's doing her blog, we've already set up her website, the menu system's already intact and it's right. already configured, uh, just like the Carrie's blog section was already created. It's already been set up for her. So what I'll do is I'll teach you just how to get yours set up the same way that Carrie's is set up. Why don't we use yours as the example, sure. Carrie, just yep. because we're going to be working on your site tonight anyways. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to go into the administrator panel for Joomla 1.5. All right. How have you been finding uh, getting around in Joomla? Um, a bit of a rough start, but yeah, yeah I'm getting much. I'm getting used to it. Yeah, Starting to find your way bad. around. Yeah. It's pretty sleek, eh? Like it, yeah. it's nice that it's it's web based, but it is it kind of feels like a program. Mm -hmm. Like there's there's certain you know once you get used to the interface, you know where to find stuff. And yeah. Yeah, so that's cool. Yeah. I don't know what all the buttons mean yet, but yeah, right. it's been pretty, pretty good. Good. Uh, so, Norm, what we want to do is go up to your menus and then main menu. I'm guessing that that's the menu that you're currently using because you probably haven't created a custom menu yet. So you'll see that Carrie's blog is already on the menu. So what you need to do is go up here when you're editing this menu, go new. And see, this is one of the things that I've already done for you, Carrie, so you don't have to, you don't have to think about it. Um, so... Now the interface, I use Joomla 1.0.x, so it's a little different. I think it is under, I'm guessing, Articles. So we're actually creating a new menu here. Yeah, here we go. So we want to do either a section blog layout or a category blog layout. Can you guess what the difference there is, Carrie? Knowing what the difference between a section and, the, and a category is mm -hmm. now? Yeah, like the categories are what specifically, in general, I'm talking about, like whether it's Category 5 or what A8. Yeah, yeah. Then and a section. I forget Carrie's what section blog. Is. Oh, Carrie's So that's blog. like the okay. top level. If you think of it like a tree, the top level is Carrie's blog mm -hmm. or Norm's blog. I think you seriously just kicked the camera. Did I really? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> that was the first time for everything. That was awesome. <laughs> so um, you've got the top. You've got the top is Carrie's blog or Norm's blog, and then below that are all the different tree branches of okay. the the categories, right? So if you use a section blog layout, you're going to have what Carrie has, which is it's going to show all of the current blogs no matter what category they're from. Right. If, on the other hand, you want to have a section, like a link on your menu that is specific to one blog category, mm -hmm. let's say you actually want to put category five uh, blog entries on the menu, you can do that with a category blog layout. Okay. In our case, and for you, Norm, what we want to do is click on section blog layout, if you want it to be a blog layout. Okay, so now give it a title. So this is going to be Norm's blog. And then set your regular parameters. And you can change things over here if you want to change how many uh, articles are leading. That's like the one that shows at the top. Right. And then the ones that show the intro, which is uh, they're going to show a little differently because they're going to have 
you're going to have the one big one taking up the full top area. That's the, the leading one. Then you've got the intro ones, which is going to be one here, one here, one here, one here kind of thing. So that's where the four comes in there, okay? How many columns you want to have and how many links. So you can play with those and you'll actually see the difference as you uh, modify this menu entry. But you can leave these all as default the first time and just hit save. Oh, please select a section. See how it tells you oh, if you yeah. missed something? And because I'm zoomed out, uh, zoomed in, it makes it hard for me to make sure that I've clicked everything. Okay, select a section. Carries block. Okay, so I'm going to go save. And now if I go to Carrie's website, let's just bring that up. Here we are, carryweb.com. Okay. So you'll see that I created a link, Norm's blog. And that's actually taking us to Carrie's blog because we're not on Norm's website. But all right. So essentially, you just need to be able to create the menu item for that. Uh, for that. All right. Great. That makes sense, eh? Norm, let me know how that goes, and, mm -hmm. and let me know if that answers you. Uh, but we need to have a link on that menu in order to uh, in order to be able to click on. So then you should have a link that says Norm's blog. You click on it. It's going to take you to the section that you specified when you were creating that menu link. And if you want to change the layout or whatever, all you have to do is just edit that menu item in main menu, which is accessed again from hitting menus and then main menu.